get to wear pink shirts and jeans because it's Mother's Day weekend. Yay. Um, workout observation. I am going to have to invest in new work shoes because by the time I get off of work, my feet and my legs hurt. And I know it's just because my shoes suck because my uh, workout shoes are very comfortable. I don't know. You tell me. Look. <laughs> Oh, man. What do you call four blondes standing next to each other? A wind tunnel. Okay. What do you call a crate full of ducks? A box of quackers. Pow! Here's a good joke for you. What do you call this hairstyle? <laughs> so now it's Saturday afternoon. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon that gives me just enough time to get changed and go to the gym before Bobby has to go to work but I kind of wanted to bring up the subject of the fact that somebody made it a point to have a little comment about me leaving work early every day and you know I'm a six o'clocker for a reason I asked for six o'clock so that I could get out of time I mean, get out of work so that I would have enough time to get home and spend some time with my family, um, especially my husband, since he goes to work every day at 3 o'clock. Now, I don't mind if I'm scheduled at 8 o'clock and I have to stay late for work and Hell no, till the no have Bobby bring the kids up to, to IHOP or whatever at the end of the day. But, you know, first off, I can't be a mom and a waitress at the same time. It just doesn't work. Um, Lily normally has tutoring and after-school activities, so that doesn't put her out of school until 4 o'clock. So staying till 4 o'clock, really, it's just a strain on my family. It's a strain on me. Um, in the last recent week, I've found that if I get out of work at anywhere between 1 and 2, I can come home, I can get changed, I can go to the gym, and I can spend maybe a half hour with my husband. Um, Maybe I'm foolish, maybe I'm blind. If any of you guys feel that I am not taking tables when you feel like I should, please come bring it to my attention or pull me to the side and talk to me privately because but I'm only human after all. I'm only human. I'm sick of everybody being a rat. You know, I don't go and I don't complain to the bosses about things that other people do unless I feel that it is done directly to me. The last time I went to the office to talk to the bosses was a day that I felt like I was getting stiffed left and right and I wanted to cry about it. And, you know, sure enough, it was just a mistake up at the register and some of my tips didn't get accounted for, you know, but in, unless a customer really has a problem with something, I don't go to management. I don't go to the big boss. I don't complain about things, you know, and it really, really bothers me that people have their comments and people feel that by running and telling little things, you know, <clears throat> a good day for me consists of coming at six o'clock and getting set up for the day and when there's a transition at eight o'clock getting into my section getting my section ready checking my side work making sure that we're stocked for the shift and then working it all day until it's time to get cut now if i happen to see that we're done with a rush at 11 30 12 o'clock yeah i'm going to start doing some of my stuff early you want to know why because i feel like i earned it when i come in at six and i'm out of there at one or even two in the afternoon guess what i've put in my eight hours if i'm somebody that came in at eight o'clock and i'm expected to stay till two or three or four then four o'clock's my eight hours <laughs> Hey fam, how's it going? This probably won't be too good a video. I don't know. I'm not sure if I should congratulate the person that upset me or be angry with the person that upset me. Either way, I'm upset. And uh, it's only because I feel I have to defend myself. Now, I'm on my way to the gym. I'm going to go work out all of this upsetness. But, uh, have you ever recorded on your phone and it'll show you like a timer that goes down so like if you if it shows five and you record for a minute then it'll say four it's only because your phone can handle so much um, it only has so much length 
Is that the word? It can only record so much. So I got cut off in the middle of my rant. With that being said, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to think things out. And uh, I don't know if that rant earlier is going to make it to video, but <laughs> workout observation before I even get to the gym. Shave. <laughs> shave your armpits, shave your legs, and anything else that you feel that you want to be shaved. Workout observation number 473. Uh, stretch before you go. No, stretch when you get there. Either way, stretch. Figure out a plan, especially if you're pressed for time. Today worked out perfectly. I knew that I had about 45 minutes to an hour. So I got there, I stretched, I did that stupid Stairmaster. Oh, before I did the Stairmaster, I tried the elliptical. And uh, why do I feel like I'm yelling? Okay, so before I did the Stairmaster, I tried the elliptical, and um, not for me, not yet. My knee hurts too bad. I did it for about a minute and a half, and I said, okay, never mind. So, got on the Stairmaster, and then I went to that 30-minute workout, and I just busted out quick reps as fast as I could, and then uh, looked at the time, and just couldn't get in another 10 minutes of cardio. I got to get home before Bobby goes off to work, and we got to make a payment on